Chemist Twins. So, we are back again with our chapter Photosynthesis. Today, we will be discussing about some experiments on photosynthesis. Now, a number of experiments experiment can be performed for the various conditions and requirements necessary for photosynthesis. The first term comes here is de-starching. So, de-starching means removal of starch. Now, how can we do this de-starching? For this, we will take a plant and that plant must be kept in dark for 24 to 48 hours. We should keep that plant in dark for 24 to 48 hours. And during this period, all the starch from the leaves will be removed. To the storage organs and the leaves will not show the presence of starch. So in this way we can de-starch a leaf. And how to test a leaf for starch? We will be doing an iodine test. For this also we will dip the leaf in boiling water so that the cells can be killed. Then we'll boil the leaf in methylated spirit to remove chlorophyll. And after that, we'll keep that leaf in a, again in hot water and we'll pour iodine solution. The presence of blue-black color indicates the presence of starch. So, how can we prove that a leaf has starch? If the color changes, if the leaf's color is green, if the color, green color changes to blue-black color, that shows that it contains starch. So, now our first experiment is to show that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. For this, we will take a plant with variegated leaves. That means some green and some non-green parts. We will de-starch the leaf by keeping it in a dark room. Then we'll place the plant in the sun. After a few hours, we will find, we will pluck one leaf and we'll make its outline on a paper and we'll mark it as green and non-green areas. We'll test the leaf for starch. Only the green parts of the leaf will turn blue showing the presence of starch. That means only the green parts of a leaf give iodine taste for the presence of starch, proving that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. Next experiment to sh show that sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis. Again, we will take a plant with the starched leaves We'll cover one of its leaves with a black paper. We'll place the plant in the sun. After a few hours, we'll test the leaf which is covered by black paper. What we will observe? We will observe that only the parts of the leaf which could get light through the cut out design as well as those that were left uncovered by the paper turns blue black showing the presence of starch. So, all the uncovered part will turn to blue-black. That shows the presence of starch. I had shown you here only the circle one, but all the full, the full uncovered part will turn blue-black. Next, to show that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis. Again, we will take a plant with these starched leaves. We will insert one of its leaves into a conical flask containing potassium hydroxide. We will leave the plant in sunlight. After a few hours, we will test this and any other leaf of this plant. The leaf which was exposed to atmospheric air becomes blue-black. And the leaf which was inside this bottle containing potassium hydroxide 
does not become blue black because potassium hydroxide absorbs carbon dioxide so that shows that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis experiment 4 to show that oxygen is produced during photosynthesis we will take some water plant for example hydrilla in a beaker containing pond water we will cover them with the, by a funnel we will invert a test tube full of water over the stem of the funnel then place the apparatus in sun for few hours we will find bubbles will come out and we will observe these bubbles within that test tube we can take a glowing splinter and will and burst the glowing splinter will burst into flame which shows the presence of oxygen we can test that gas in the test tube so this shows that or this proves that oxygen is produced during photosynthesis importance of photosynthesis there are two main importance of photosynthesis first is it provides us oxygen and it provides food so photosynthesis uh, provides oxygen which is a life supporting gas is present in the atmosphere in free state and this is only because of photosynthesis and it provides us food so all animals including humans they depend upon plants for food plants they prepare their own food by, but we animals we depend upon plants for food so this is also called this dependency is also termed as food chain and this chain of food dependency is called as food chain like for example grass is eaten by rabbit rabbit is eaten by tiger so the, this comes under food chain next is our carbon cycle now carbon cycle is a series of chemical reactions in which carbon as a chemical element is removed from the air used by living organisms in their body processes and is finally returned to the air so a series of chemical reactions are there in which carbon dioxide is removed from the air again they are used by living organisms and finally they are returned back to the air so the, there are some steps are there within this uh, carbon cycle first is the photosynthesis it means the green plants they use carbon dioxide of the air to produce carbohydrate food chain through food chain the food passes on from plants to animals respiration all plants and animals they respire by oxidizing carbohydrates in their cells why to produce energy decay the dead remains of plants and animals are consumed by bacteria and fungi and in the process they break down the organic matter they release carbon in carbon dioxide form into the atmosphere combustion when a fuel such as a wood or a fossil fuel like coal petroleum etc is burnt carbon contained in it is uh, oxidized to carbon dioxide which is given back to the atmosphere so the following uh, the essential steps of this carbon cycle includes photosynthesis food chain respiration decay and combustion so again we had come to our home assignments portion first question number 1 oxygen is a waste product of photosynthesis comment question number 2 why is it not possible to demonstrate respiration in a green plant kept in sunlight Question number three. All life owes its existence to chlorophyll. Give reason. Question number four. In most of the experiments on photosynthesis, we used a de-starched leaf or plant. What is the purpose of de-starching? So, students, I hope that all of you understood this chapter. And we will be coming back with our review your learning portion that what you had understood from there we will be doing solving some questions so i hope all of you are safe and fine and all of you are studying thank you